Welcome to Coordinate Geometry 3. We're just going to have a look at uh, the third bullet point here, understand and use the relationships between the gradients of parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, so let's just investigate that. I've just got a few graphs here to have a look at. Here we've got the graph of y equals x, straight line with a gradient of 1 and y intercept of 0. Now, obviously, a line parallel to that is going to have the same gradient, and you would have... Uh, seen that before in IGCSE. So if I have x plus 2, you can see we've got another straight line, same gradient as this line here, so it's parallel to it. So any line with the same gradient is going to be parallel to the original line. That's easy, and we've done that before. The one that's a little bit different is looking at lines that are perpendicular. So here's the line y equals negative x. You can see this line here is perpendicular to the first one. The gradient of this one here is 1. The gradient of this one here is negative 1. Okay, uh, let's look at y equals 2x now. There's y equals 2x, gradient of 2. Now, you've got to think, now what line would be perpendicular to that one? Would it be negative 2x? Let's try drawing that one and see. So y equals negative 2x. Let's draw that line. You can see straight away that those two lines are not perpendicular. They do not intersect at 90 degrees. So why don't we try negative a half x. And now you can see those two lines intersect at 90 degrees. So they're perpendicular. So there's y equals 2x, y equals negative a half x. You might start to see a bit of a uh, pattern building up here. Here's y equals 4x, gradient of 4. Here's y equals negative a quarter x, okay? 4x and negative a quarter x. So what is the relationship between two lines that are perpendicular? Here it is here. If two lines are perpendicular, then one gradient is the negative reciprocal of the other. So remember we had a line with gradient 2. The perpendicular line had gradient negative a half. Gradient 4 was negative a quarter. Okay, it's the negative reciprocal. If two lines are parallel, the gradients are the same. Once that's, that's the easy part right there. If we have a line gradient negative a half, the perpendicular will be 2. The negative reciprocal of negative a half. So basically, turn the fraction upside down and change the sign. If 3 quarters is our original gradient, then minus 4 over 3 is the gradient of the perpendicular. If negative 5 is our original, then 1 fifth the perpendicular or 0.1, which is actually 1 tenth, then the perpendicular will be negative 10, the negative reciprocal. Okay, that's the first thing that you have to understand. How to start with the gradient of a line and work out what the gradient of a line perpendicular to that line is going to be. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. So here's the kind of problems that you need to solve. What's the equation of a line parallel to a given line, passing through a given point, or perpendicular to a given line, passing through a given point? And in these questions here, I've asked you to write it in this uh, particular form, ax plus by equals c. The a, b, c are integers. Remember, integers are positive and negative whole numbers, no fractions. Okay, so let's look at the answer to the first one. If we start with x plus 2y equals 4, first thing I want to know about this line is what's its gradient. So I've rearranged it, subtracted x from both sides, then divided everything by 2, so that the line's now written in this form. Then I can clearly see the gradient. The number in front of the x is negative a half. So the line we're looking for, for part a, is parallel to that one, so it also has a gradient of negative a half. So the equation of the line will be y equals negative a half x plus c. So I replace x with negative 2 and y with 4. That's the question. What's the equation of the line parallel to this one here going through the point negative 2, 4? Okay, which gives me this. Negative a half times negative 2 is 1. So c is equal to 3. So the equation of the line, negative a half x plus 3. Now that's not in the form that we were asked for. We want to get rid of this fraction here, so I've got to multiply every term by 2. Just be careful that you multiply the 3 by 2 also. And add x to both sides, and there we've got it. x plus 2y equals 6. That's the form we're looking for. Okay, uh, another approach to this is if we've got x plus 2y equals 4, then any line parallel to that will also have x plus 2y equals something. 
because when you rearrange it, you're going to get negative a half in front of the x value. So we could just substitute in the points here, uh, negative 2 and 4 into this form, giving k equals 6, and then we've got our equation. Okay, part B is the important one. If the gradient of the original line is negative a half, the gradient of the perpendicular line is 2. That's crucial that you know how to do that. So the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus c. So once again, we replace x with negative 2, y with 4, and we get c equals 8. So the equation of the line is 2x plus 8, or if we bring the y over this side and the 8 over the other side, 2x minus y equals negative 8. A little bit of algebra there, just make sure you see how I did that from there to there. There we go. And here's the picture of those three lines. Our original 1x plus 2y equals 4. You can see the gradient is negative a half, down 2 across 4. So negative a half. Here's the line parallel to it in blue. That's the answer to part A. And here's our answer to part B. Clearly perpendicular to the other line.